Welcome to Winston Dowdell Academy in Noonan, Georgia. Winston Dowdell Academy is, is an alternative high school. An alternative high school is a school that you come to after you get in trouble at your base school. Some reasons you might come to Winston Dowdell Academy is fighting, drugs, skipping school, or public display of affection. Sometimes you might come for credit. Man. We are more than the mistakes that we make. For instance, we are participating in the Soul Hope Project. We learned about Soul Hope through um, my teacher, Ms. Dayton. Soul Hope is a nonprofit organization that was started by Asher Kali. This was as a result of seeing a YouTube video of children having jiggers removed from their feet. And a jigger is a sand flea that, that burrows into the feet of children and adults in Uganda, Africa, and that area. And they lay eggs and the feet become severely infected. First of all, they go in and do jigger removal clinics and they take the jiggers out of the feet of the children. They wash the feet of the, the people. Um, and then they treat the infections and they give every child a pair of shoes. Um, the way the children get the jiggers is because they go barefooted. And that's what I love so much about this project is that there's a simple solution for a very awful problem. This is one that we can help with and there's actually a solution to the problem, a simple solution. What you have to do first is you have to trace the, the patterns out. There's three different patterns, this one, this one, and this one. And then once one person traces them down, you have to cut them out. And then after we cut them out, we send them to another person that makes the shoes. And then this is what after this is what happens after they make them, and, but then they sew tire on the bottom of them. And so you end up with a nice little denim shoe that uh, cost essentially nothing for us. All we had to do was take scrap, you know, blue jeans and cut it up to provide for them and then they will make the shoe. This project has changed me a lot. I came here for fighting. Um, I made a mistake by, you know, putting your hands on people that doesn't, that's not going to get the problem solved at all. But this project, it helped me a lot to think, like, I'm, I'm being selfish and I'm fighting and they don't have shoes. And they still walk around with a smile every day. And they have jiggers in their feet. They can't walk but still have a smile. And that, and that shows me, like, I'm mad at the world and I have everything with more than they have. And I'm mad. And they just happy, so that just taught me to be grateful for what you have and what you don't have. That just touched my heart. We've been doing the Soho Project for two months now. We have cut about 120 pairs of shoes, and we're shipping them off. We're about to ship them off to Uganda, Africa, where the Soho office is. We are also collecting medical supplies for Soho. These are some of the things that we are collecting. Then we got the stickers for the little kids, to give to the little kids afterwards. We found out about a nearby school, which is the Jefferson Parkway Elementary School, that wanted to participate in the Soho Project. Yesterday, we went over to Jefferson Parkway Elementary School to collect what they had created. So they made little purses on their own and they com completed the shoe kit and they even made you know cards for the Soul Hope. I think it's great that what we started here at Winston Dowdell Academy have spread to more schools in Noonan, Georgia such as Jefferson Parkway. Even the parents of the students at Winston Dowdell Academy are getting involved in the Soul Hope Project. They are bringing blue jeans. They're going to be still cutting the shoes out this summer. I hope for a miracle because I hope that all the shoes that we done cut out and made, I hope bring them happiness. I hope that you consider us a part of the Soul Hope family and for the children of Uganda and Africa. I hope that y'all um, 
these shoes to bring y'all a part of y'all childhood back. To see our high school students doing this really makes me feel good about who they are as people and, and, and kind of the people they want to grow to be. So watching them give to others is just fantastic. I'm thankful they're doing it. They have just taken this and, and embraced it. You know, like I said, it's, it's beautiful. Like I said, I love it. Absolutely love it.